All right, we're here with uh, Jeremiah Constant. Jeremiah, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? Uh, not too bad. So, Jeremiah, you're back on Fight to Win. Pretty quick turnaround. Uh, you're fighting on the 23rd against Lewis Lloyd. How's your uh, preparation been going? Uh, it's going good. You know, uh, Lewis is a little bit different guy than, uh, than I fought last time. So, obviously, we're doing a little different stuff. You know, working on, uh, you know, game plan and stuff. But, uh, I mean, for right now, it's mainly just, uh, you know, getting the best cardio shape I can get, you know, so I can uh, carry that big man around for as long as I need to. For sure. Now, last time we talked, we mentioned how it was your Colorado debut. Uh, how did that feel? I mean, getting in there, showcasing your skills, and it was a quick, dominant victory, so sure. it had to feel good. Uh, it was a great fight. You know, uh, the whole night was good. You know, the build-up the build to that fight and team that I had around me, you know, uh, really helped me out. You know, it was awesome to be here in Colorado, and, uh, you know, it really, I couldn't ask for more, you know. I mean, uh, it was really exciting, and uh, I'm excited to take, you know, the, the um, you know, the, the, moves and, uh, you know, the work that I did for that last fight, just right on into this one. Like you said, it, it was a quick turnaround. It's the very next fight, you know. Uh, so I'm excited, you know. It's kind of almost like, you know, I only had like two weeks to really let my hair down, and uh, now we're right back into it. Right, yeah. Now you talked about Lewis Lee's a little different opponent this time around. Tell us about, you know, how you think you match up with him and, and how that changes up, you know, what you plan to do in the fight. Uh, Lewis is a really big guy, you know, just a, a flat-out big guy, you know, a hard puncher tall guy, you know, uh, honestly, I feel like that's really a good matchup for me, you know, I don't feel like he has a, you know, great ground game, doesn't have a very good uh, takedown defense, you know, uh, I mean, ba basically, the, the, the things that I'm going to have to concentrate on are, uh, you know, keep my hands up, make sure I don't get out of a uh, position, and, uh, you know, make sure my cardio is good enough to, to go with a, a larger guy for, you know, the 15 minutes if, if necessary, or, you know, as, as long as it takes. Yeah, definitely. Now, you're kind of known as a little bit of a jokester around here at Grudge. Uh, you think that kind of helps, uh, you know, getting through these long training camps, pushing through, kind of, you know, keeping uh, keeping things light? Yeah, I mean, it helps me. I don't know how much it helps everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, you can't take everything so serious. You know, sometimes, you know, you got to be serious and probably, like, flirt with that line a little too often. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it, I, I like being lighthearted. It's just the way I am, you know, and uh, it does help me get through, uh, you know, my days a little uh, just besides training, you know, just life in general. For sure, for sure. What do you uh, do? You train full time, or you got other stuff going on as well? Uh, yeah, well, pretty much train full time, but you know, I I, uh, I sell drill bits in the oil field and uh, okay. you know, PC Logic Rival Sales, and uh, you know, we're uh, we're out there up in uh, you know Weld County, DJ Basin, you know, punching holes in the ground, and and uh, you know, so that that does take a, a time out of every single one of my days. And, uh, you know, so does fighting, you know. So with those two combined, you know, I'm, I'm pretty uh, overwhelmed. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So how do you think your, uh, you know, your striking has progressed? I mean, you know, we've talked before a little bit about this, but you're obviously a, a very, very well-credentialed wrestler. Uh, you've made the move here to Grudge, really worked on your striking with a lot of guys. So, you know, how do you think that progression has gone? Uh, I, I feel like it's getting a lot better. I, I know for a while, uh, when I first got here especially, I was trying to be more uh, like a, you know, kind of like how Brendan and, and uh, Elliot are more, uh, you know, uh, crisp uh, boxer type guys, you know. Right. And I feel like I tried to, to mold myself into that, which is not where I need to be. You know, that's, yeah. that's not my style. And uh, Trevor's been working with me lately, you know, and, uh, and uh Freed have been working with me on uh, just being more, uh, you know, uh, uh, a, a puncher to get to a wrestling, you know, right. and, and, uh, and wrestling uh, two punch, you know, so I'm not really, uh, you know, separating the two. The seam is, is a little more uh, transparent between the two, you know, and I'm actually right. becoming more of an MMA striker than a boxer or a kickboxer. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I think that's, that's really important for wrestlers not to, you know, forget kind of where they yeah, came from. Absolutely. So. But uh, yeah, is there anyone, uh, any anyone you want to thank for this? Any sponsors, anything like that? Uh, you know, uh, I haven't really got my sponsors all tied down. Obviously, uh, you know, uh, PDC Logic, Rival Sales. You know, uh, Corey Gardner and Tim Brower. You know, those guys. Not only do they work with me, but you know, they mentor me along in life and uh, you know, help me out with anything I need for fighting and stuff. And uh, as I'm most appreciative of, of, of the efforts that they put in on me. You know, uh, this team here. You know, uh, you know. Uh, Grudge Training Center has been like, you know, a blessing and a home to me. I love all these guys here. You know, good uh, good friends, good family. And uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it, man, to tell you the truth. All right, cool. Well, any uh, any quick predictions on, on how this fight's going to play out on the 23rd? Uh, you know, I, I imagine it's just going to be some dynamite, you know, <laughs> in either direction. It's going to be, you know, big, flashy. I don't think we'll go the whole time. 
you know, uh, I, I see myself uh, being on top, you know, and having my hand raised from ground and pound. For sure, for sure. All right, Jeremiah, well, thanks for taking the time to talk with us. Uh, we wish you good luck on the 23rd. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot.